Hey guys, it's been a while since I did an empties video and I have a whole bag full of empties. So if you'd like to see what I have used up, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so there is a lot, a lot in here. It's been quite a while. All right, so I'll just dive in with this, which I feel like is usually in an empties. It's the Scalp Relief Shampoo from Derma E. I've run through one and my daughter's run through one. She has an extremely, well, she gets a lot of buildup on her scalp. So she needs something like this to really clean out all the product on her scalp. And it works so well, squeaky clean, beautiful mint scent. So I love this, would recommend. I think I've gone through like four or five of those. The John Frieda Go Blonder. I'm trying to get back to my natural blonde hair ever since I dyed it auburn and then brown with highlights. I am not able to get back my natural blonde, which is here, it's dark blonde. So I wanna lighten it and this normally works, but it's not light yet. So I'm gonna have to keep going, but I do like this product. Setting spray, setting spray, setting spray, setting spray. All right, some setting sprays I've run through. The CoverGirl Outlast Active. I think this is a really good one. I also really like the Catrice HD Active one. This one works really well. The Benefit Professional Super Setter. This one is nice for kind of smoothing things out. I don't necessarily know about the longevity of the makeup, but I do feel like it kind of smooths things out a bit. And then the MAC Fix Plus, just little travel size I ran through in my travel bag. I've gone through a bunch of full size ones of these as well. Really great product. Some wipes I've run through, I am trying to use more reusable. I'm just running through the packets that I already have in my backup closet. First one being the Clinique Take the Day Off one. I would use these whenever I would have glitter or extremely sparkly makeup just so that I didn't want it on my washcloths. Um, this did a really nice job. And then the Julep Beauty, which I think I got in like a boxy charm makeup remover towelettes. They're pore refining witch hazel. I don't really think any of these do anything for the skin other than just remove makeup. So I would not repurchase these. I'm just gonna use my makeup eraser washcloth moving forward. All right, we'll just go in here. The Derma E Universal Cleansing Balm. I've been really into cleansing balms lately. I used it completely up. Now I'm using the Pharmacy Cherry one, which smells amazing, but I all feel like they work similarly. I like this one. I like the Pharmacy one. I didn't care for the Physician's Formula one. I feel like that one stung my eyes a little bit, but this one is good and I have repurchased it. Some eye gels, um, this one, they both expired actually, so I had to get rid of them. But this one is the Derma E Vitamin C Bright Eyes Hydrogel Patches, and these are the Mary Kay Hydrogel Eye Patches. These were fine if you're wearing them by themselves, but if you're going to apply makeup anytime afterwards, they made my makeup pill up and almost peel off. Like if you have um, that white glue and you get some on your fingers and it dries and you peel it off, it came off like that. So my makeup would just be like bawling and like literally peeling off in strings. And it's not the makeup I've used the makeup before. So if any of you know a workaround, let me know. Like I let it sink in for a good amount of time before I apply my makeup, but I just haven't been able to get it work with these two. The Winky Lux ones, however, work beautifully right before makeup. So I know it's possible. My daughter ran through another one of these, Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. We use it for my two-year-old and my 10-year-old. They both have different curl patterns, but it works for both of them. The Derma E Hydrating Mist with Hyaluronic Acid, Rose Water, and Coconut Water. This one's really nice and it's personalized, which I think is just really, really adorable. Um, this is not overpoweringly rose. I don't like rose scent, but this I enjoy. Yeah, really refreshing, really hydrating, not as makeup setting spray, just kind of like a skin refreshing mist. We had a little mini professional setting spray in there too. Neutrogena Bright Boost Moisturizer with sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 30. I love Neutrogena sunscreens, would definitely recommend and repurchase. I like the, the one that comes in like the gray blue bottle with a pump and it's like a moisturizer with SPF. Age repair, something, but that one's definitely like one of my favorite moisturizers with SPF. Some glycolic acne peel pads. I still get acne back here on my cheek and then like right here. It's really annoying. So I went through a whole one of these. 
My daughter also uses these because she's been getting like acne around her nose now that she's like a preteen. And I do think these work really well at helping to clear up. Like my skin is pretty clear and smooth right now. And I definitely think these play a part. Some powders, I've pretty much run through the Maybelline Fit Me powder, which I love. I use this under the eyes. I have it under the eyes today. It prevents my mascara from transferring during the day. And then the Rimmel Stay Matte, this is kind of the one that I toss in my bag or my purse. And I've just had it for a while, so it's time to go, but I've definitely hit pan on both of these and time to say goodbye. Ooh, I forgot about this one. I loved this one. This is the Manicadar Hydration Happy Hydrating Face Mist. This is one of the best setting sprays I've ever tried. And I really wish I could get my hands on another one. It was so, so good. Fantastic. Highly recommend this one. A hair oil my kids ran through. This is the Aunt Jackie Repair My Hair Argan Oil. It says enriched with Jamaican black castor, revives and conditions chronically dry hair and scalp. My oldest son has an extremely dry scalp, so much so that we have to keep shaving his hair off because the moisture is not getting to his scalp. So this has been a scalp saver, hair saver for him. Like, I'm kind of playing like makeup product Jenga over here to see how far I can go before they all topple over. An eye cream I've run through, this one is the Humanist Beauty Urban Wisdom Eye Cream. It's a little pot, it's really cute. Glass packaging, like the packaging is adorable. And the eye cream itself was very thick and very rich. And I really liked it. I do have a discount code, I believe, for this brand. I mean, definitely check it out if you're looking for like a thick, rich eye cream. Deodorant, I love Dove. <laughs> it is the Cucumber and Green Tea Deodorant. Love it, not much else to say. Another one from Dove. This one, I think I've mentioned this one before in a previous video. This is the Exfoliating Body Polish with Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk, and this smells so good. Even though I've cleaned out the container, it still smells amazing. Definitely would repurchase. I was actually looking for more in my closet because I thought I had another one and I'm out. So I will be repurchasing this one. It definitely helps to like get dead skin off and it smells amazing, almost like a spa treatment for the shower. So would recommend. All right, some little minis from Drunk Elephant that I've run to, through. The TLC Glycolic Night Serum and the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I think I was using these together for a while. I didn't really see much difference, but I do have the full size one. So I plan to try them a little bit longer and see what I think. Favorite dry shampoo powder to use at nighttime. This one is the I Do Care Tap Secret. Has a little sponge on the one side and then the product down below, just like powder. It's pretty much gone. All you're seeing is like the residual dust. I will tap this into my hairline, especially right here at night before going to sleep. And in the morning, my hair wakes up oil-free, not shiny, ready to go. It is extremely drying, but like that's what this does. So don't go overboard or your hair will start to feel like straw, but just a couple taps before bedtime on day two, day three hair, and you're good to go. It's really, really excellent. Some more mists, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I think this one started to irritate my skin, so I stopped using it after a while. So I would not repurchase this one. However, the Smashbox Primer Water, this one is like the, what's her name? This is like the Nicole collab one, which is fine. I like the original, and if you spray this on your skin before everything else, I really do think it helps to hydrate and prevent oil production during the day. So I would highly recommend this as a first step if you struggle with oil um, and getting too greasy during the day, try this. All right, let's see, lip gloss I've run through, the Jane Iredell Hyaluronic Acid Lip Gloss. This stuff is fantastic and I have purchased several other colors since. This is the Ulta Color Correcting Concealer in Pink. Really like this one. I just wish it had a little bit more orange tone and it would be like the perfect brightening and color correcting concealer. Love this one. Sephora waterproof eye pencil. It just dried out or no, it fell out. The product is not even in there anymore. So that's why this one's in the trash. The Mac stack mascara, the little sample size. I did repurchase this one in the full size. And for some reason it's not, it's not giving me the same effect as the mini one does. So I'm not happy with my purchase. Perhaps I got the wrong one. There's a micro and a mini or a micro and a macro, I think. And this just says black stack mascara. It doesn't say which one. So maybe I got the wrong one, but I love the mini, not so much the full size. 
Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon. This one is in Auburn, I believe. I don't see the color on here, but I've run through this one. Back when I had the Auburn hair, I was using this one pretty much every day. Another Maybelline Fit Me powder. You can tell it's been a while since I've done these. Mascara I've run through. This one is the Trustique. I think this is called the Good Vibes one. Yeah, Good Vibes mascara has the curler on top, mascara on the bottom. I do have two backups of this one. Also the Ilia Fooliest Volume Mascara. I am already on my full size mascara that I repurchased after running through this one. I ran through a Grande Lash Serum. I love this stuff. It really does work, guys. All right, what else do we have here? The L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir dried out on me, so that's trash. We have the Rare Beauty Mascara, which is also excellent, and I do have the full size right here. The Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumized Mascara, a really excellent mascara, but it dried out. And the Too Faced Mascara, this one I have run through as well. I like that one better than the Better Than Sex. And another little lip gloss, this one is the Grande Lips Plumping Gloss. A polish I am completely through. It is the Essie Express Top Coat. I need to get more of this because it's so fast. Foundation that I think was in my last empties, another L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This one's the lightest one, the very light one. Love this one. I also have several backups because it is fantastic. We have a hand cream from Jane Iredell Hand Drink Hand Cream. This one I think was like a creamsicle scent. No, I don't know. Fine, but I wouldn't run out and purchase that one. The Pixie Vitamin C Lotion, I highly recommend this. It's a great first step if you're looking to brighten the skin and it smells amazing. And then the Dr. Zenovia Bakuchil Hydrating Cleanser. I did get a full size of this and I am currently using it. So I think it did a nice job of cleaning out the pores. This product from Amore Pacific, I loved uh, Dual Nourishing Lip Serum. It's like a doe foot applicator with like a serum and just doesn't smell great anymore, but this really does nourish and give your skin like lips a gloss. So it's expensive, but I do think it works really well. And then we have the Lancome Advanced Genifique Eye Cream, which I used completely up. It was really nice. Couple more things, guys. The Replenix Vitamin C Pro Collagen Serum. Yep, the collagen serum I used up. I really enjoyed this. It was brightening and slightly plumping. Really, really great quality. And then last product is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I do also like this one and I have purchased a backup. So, would recommend. So those are all the products that have either dried out, run out, or that I simply can't use anymore for whatever reason. So I've shared with you the products I liked and the ones that I wouldn't repurchase. Hopefully you guys found this helpful to know what I run through on a monthly, quarterly basis. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.